And continuing our heat coverage, a Las Vegas couple says their dog may have been the victim of heat stroke. They believe the dog boarding facility is at fault for his death. Shada Kalafi is live at Doggy District Silverado with more from the owners and the boarding facility themselves. He was two years old. He was funny. He was goofy. He was so sweet with other animals, other people. I just wanted Nico to live a long life and see his gray whiskers. So every day I tried so hard to make sure that he was loved. With a trip to Hawaii coming up, Daniela Silva and Ted Taylor decided on Doggy District Silverado to board their dog, Nico. They dropped him off around 3.30 on Friday, June 30th, and then shortly after... They called him and were telling him that he was unresponsive, that he was turning blue, that he was just... Basically, he's already gone, and I'm like, Maybe. it hasn't even been an hour when he... What they told him is that they took him outside to potty for no longer than five minutes and then left him and took him back to his room, which has a TV bed, AC, left him in there. And then they went off and did whatever and came back and saw him unresponsive to the, in his room. Fox 5 reached out to Doggy District and a representative told us their potty break protocols do take high temperatures into account. They say Nico was let out supervised twice for less than five minutes each. So not even an hour after we dropped him off, they called us saying that he was gone basically and that the girl there, worker, had to put our dog into her own personal car and take him to a hospital that they don't even have connections to. Doggy District says in an emergency, they transport the pet to the closest veterinarian and accepting animals. In this case, they say their primary established vet was not accepting patients, so they took Nico to another pet hospital. Doctor specifically, in his own words, said he was grossly healthy. He was a healthy dog. He was two years old, but that when he arrived, his body temperature was 106. And that was just because he was already in the car, cooled in the girl's car. So before then, who God knows how much heat was actually trapped into his body. That representative with Doggy District tells us that employees are trained for emergency situations when they're hired, and that training is repeated periodically. In fact, here at the Silverado location, the employees went through a refresher training just three weeks before Nico's death. Nico's owners now tell me they do plan on filing a police report. Reporting in Henderson, Shauna Kalafi, Fox 5 News, local Las Vegas.